The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how bullying can affect many different types of people. Bullying is an epidemic that is affecting the youth, and not only the youth, but everyone in general. We decided to ask random people on the street and ask them their experience with bullying. We also decided to go for some students in our school and even some teachers. We asked them a couple questions about how they felt towards bullying and what they could do about it. The following video is the result of these interviews. We hope you enjoy. Have you ever been bullied? Yes. Have you ever been bullied in your lifetime? I don't think so. Have you ever witnessed bullying? Yeah, probably. Like, like, what type of bullying have you witnessed the most? Um, probably like people like talking behind other people's backs or like excluding people. I want to know if any of you have ever been bullied. Yeah, I have. Yes. Um, ever been bullied in your lifetime? Um, I think the normal amount of bullying that everyone gets, just like the feeling left out, people leaving you out, um, name calling, nothing too extreme. Have you ever witnessed something like extreme? Um, oh, I probably have, but I probably just don't remember. So nothing too extreme, I guess, because I would have remembered something really. Have you ever been bullied in your lifetime? Oh, most definitely. Have you ever been bullied? Uh, yeah, um, we went through elementary and middle school. I used to be bullied a lot because of the way that uh, I would like dress and you know the way that I look and yeah. I'm saying, have you ever been bullied? Um, no, I don't think so. Have you ever witnessed anyone being bullied? Yes, I think so. Did you ever been bullied? Yes. Uh, well, have you ever been bullied? Yes, I have. Do you know why? I think because like I could dress, so like the other person he wasn't couldn't really dress. He was jealous. He was jealous of me, but he was jealous because you could dress nice. Yeah. I'm jealous. Um. <laughs> uh, I was super pale. I was from Scotland, and I had bangs down to my nose. If you're comfortable with sharing it, can you tell us what you're being bullied for? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, when I was like younger, elementary school level, I was kind of overweight, um, and uh, a lot of the kids at school used to bully me for that, uh, like constantly, just over and over, like calling me names and stuff like that. Telling me why were you bullied? Um, I remember a couple years ago, around like third, fifth grade. I remember I was bullied because they just found me, because they found me as as a target. To target. Uh, why were you bullied? Um, very first time is just because of my ethnicity. There was a group of uh, fourth to fifth grade uh, students. This happened down in uh, Waldorf, Maryland. I was living off of a three or one. I was in kindergarten at the time, but every single morning, you know, when I go to the bus stop, I was nigger this, nigger that, nigger the other. So every morning was a fight. You know, my lunch box was swinging, my feet were kicking, but you know. They're a little bit older, so things always kind of got a little rough. Being bullied. Um, honestly, I didn't think it was so serious. I thought it was people just like, you know, being friends. But uh, after some time, I realized um, it's not just a joke. Like, it's uh, serious. People actually think that. Yeah. Maybe some, some people might think, oh, like when you're making fun of somebody, it's like a joke. But other people can actually like, take it to the heart and it might mean something more. How did that make you feel? Uh, terrible. Yeah, it wasn't a good, it wasn't a good experience. How did you feel about it? Like, did, did you ever feel anything like personal? Um, I think sometimes frustrated or just trying to put myself in the shoes of how the other students would feel and how they might feel bad or have their feelings hurt. How did it make you feel? Um, seeing someone being left out of something or even sitting by themselves make, makes me feel sad. It makes me feel um, as if I'm also being, uh, I'm also the one bullying people by being passive. Yeah, how did you feel after all that? I mean, it hurt. Like, it was, it wasn't, because especially since I, some of the kids were like, I would consider my closer friends and they would still do it. It wasn't, it didn't feel great. How did, like, all the bullying make you feel? Mm -hmm. Makes you angry. Quite frankly, um, 
it causes you to consistently be on the defensive. Whereas, you know, you're kind of always watching the environment, looking to see who's going to do what. And uh, it just, it also, you know, puts you in a negative space. Did you reach out for anyone for help? No. You didn't reach out to anyone? No. Who did you speak to? Yeah, I've talked to a teacher. Did you reach out to anyone for help? Uh, not really. I was pretty shy. I didn't like um, kind of talking to people. Um, did you ever reach out to anyone when you were being bullied? Um, no. Why not? Um, I see the, I see it more of a problem and solution type thing. So if I don't like how this person's treating me, then I'm gonna go find someone else who will treat me right. Did you reach out to anyone for help or assistance? No. no. It was very, it's a very uh, English thing to do to like keep yourself uh, kind of very positive with things on the carpet, that type of thing. And bullying in today's society. <laughs> I think it's like a negative role because then like you show it, you're showing the people like your world and shit. So like they can do whatever they want, they can say whatever they want to you. And there's going to be people who agree with it too. Uh-huh. What do you think social media plays a positive or a negative role in today's society on bullying? Um, probably both. Like if people get bullied, they do have a place to turn and like have friends like from other places. But also, um, it kind of allows bullying to happen more easily because it's not happens over social media. Social media plays a positive or a negative role in today's society on bullying. On bullying specifically? Yeah. I think negative, yeah. Because it just makes it easier for people, for, especially like not even at your school, but like all over the place, to be able to negatively like talk to you. Do you, do you think social media plays a positive or negative role in today's society? On what? Um, negative role because you just it's it's constant. People just open up their phone and just check it. So if you're constantly checking and seeing negative comments, that can really. But it can be positive in a way too because you have. Yeah. Maybe it's people from like other places you don't know them, but, like over social media, I turn into friends, okay. things like that. Do you think social media plays a positive or negative role in bullying? Uh, I feel like it plays a negative role because you can just go on uh, any social media like Instagram or Twitter, and you can like you can bully like a celebrity just because you want to. It doesn't matter. You can do it anonymously, and uh, that makes it easier to bully somebody. Um, do you think social media plays a positive or a negative role in today's society? All right, now social media, that's a double-edged sword, okay? Now, it is a wonderful tool that can be utilized to spread positive messages and to uh, organize grassroots organizations, but I'm finding that uh, the overusage of it by many, um, I'd say, adolescents in a negative manner to simply try to isolate people and frankly to say things that they would never say face to face. Yeah, like, cause, hey, it's easier because you're anonymous. Yeah. You can do it to anyone. Mm -hmm. Done to stop or slow down bullying or like decrease it? Uh, the only way to decrease it or slow it down is through education. And when I say education, I'm talking about the education that begins at home. All right? 